Sci-Fi Valley Con. This is Samurai Jill here with Janet Vardy, best known as the voice of Korra from The Legend of Korra. That's true, but I kind of wish I could be called Samurai Janet, even if it's just for this interview. That just sounded so Samurai cool. Jill and Samurai it just Janet. sounded How very about cool. That? Yes, <laughs> well, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. I feel better. So, since I'm dressed as Azula today, let me start off with one question. Mm -hmm. So, a recurring theme throughout Avatar is redemption. And yes. You I mean, you have this podcast. You've been going through every single episode. You're yes. an expert on Avatar. Do you think? Yeah. Can Azula ever be redeemed? Boy, that's such. That's the question of the ages, right? That's the question. I would say that is the number one unanswered question of braving the elements to date. Um, we know what happened to Zuko's mom. So, for those of you who still think that's the unanswered question, we have that the answer. Yes, we do. The comics, right? They're so good. The comics oh, are amazing. I think that's a great question. I'm worried that the answer might be no. In part because Azula seems to cherish who she is. Yes. And so part of me is like, just let her be bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, she, she's a big, she moves the plot along. She seems to really be into it. I have a lot of compassion for people who can't see the world or experience that same compassion. Mm -hmm. She might just kind of be where she is. But maybe she's meant to help everyone else understand better who they are and where their compassions are. I love that. I thought in the show, after that ended, I thought she could have been redeemed, but then yeah. reading the comic book, she <laughs> kind of like took it even farther. I was like, I don't know, Azula. I think yeah. you might have crossed the line there. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, but, but we love her. We love her. So the Braving the Elements podcast, what made you decide to start that? Because you have oh, another man. podcast, the JV Club. I do. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, I, well, I love the Avatarverse, this much we know, um, and I had long wanted to do a podcast about it because I was like, there's no insider, like, series recap, you know, talk to all the creators, like, there wasn't anything like that for Avatar. There were some wonderful fan podcasts, and shout out to those because they're wonderful, but um, we have access to these wonderful people. So I had talked to Mike and Brian about it a few years ago, and they were off working on the Netflix thing, so just the timing wasn't right. And then this thing happened in 2020. I don't know if you remember. Oh, we, we blocked that out now. But <laughs> it did happen. And so that felt like the perfect time to revisit it. And so I got together with Nickelodeon and we brought Dante in. And, and it's just been a dream. It's literally my favorite thing to do right now. Is there anyone you've been trying to get on the podcast that you haven't been able to yet? I mean, listen, there are people I know we haven't had but that we will have. Like, I know that. And then there are the pie in the skies like Mark Hamill. Ooh, don't don't be afraid be, to come on and hang one. with us. On, <laughs> so that's a big one. That's yes. a big one right now. Mm -hmm. So one of my favorite parts about this con is last night there was a karaoke after party. Yes. So I have to ask, what do you think Cora would sing? Oh, at that's karaoke? a great question. I'm so bitter that I literally had no voice last night. I was like <laughs> nursing it. I've had so many cough drops you today. You had to talk all day today, so you had to save your oh, voice. Oh, the karaoke. <laughs> I hate to miss a karaoke. Okay, that's a great question. Um. I'm not going to say I will survive because that's probably everyone's karaoke, even though that, Cora would, that be, would a be a good one. one though. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's that's definitely coming. No, I think maybe it'll be like something about like get, like needing your friends. Do you know what I mean? Like you cannot do it alone. So I was going to with a little help from my friends is about drug use, so that's a bad example. <laughs> but if that weren't about drug use, that would be a good example of a song for her. I was, I was going a little too cliche thinking, have you ever seen the rain, CCR? I could see her doing oh, something like that. You want to get elemental, it, right? I will totally go with that. Yes, ring of fire. Yes. Um, absolutely. I need you. I need you, Dill, for my next Cora uh, karaoke. My Cora Oki. Ring, of fire. Cora ring of fire was my idea it's for Zuko. But yes. that would apply to, I mean, the avatar. She can, she can yeah. do any element. All right? I need is the air that I bend. And you, okay, I don't know. Hey, that makes up for you. Do a little parody. Last night. That was yeah, good. Thank you. <laughs> so you've had a couple other cool voice roles outside of Avatar. I was watching the Harley Quinn show, and you yeah. voiced Mira. Oh and my you were gosh! Wonder Woman in Injustice. What's I was it like getting to voice superheroes. Uh, it's phenomenal. It feels probably. I mean, it's certainly the closest I will get to having those powers. So that's uh, something I really lean into, and I cherish every moment. Um, no, it's phenomenal, and and. You know, as a as a kiddo, I loved watching you know strong female characters, and I do feel like uh, they gave me strength and inspired me, and and all of that. So the idea that I get to do any part of that for for kids now or anybody and of any age is like the biggest present. It's, it's such a gift. 
you could voice any comic book villain, who would you pick? Ooh, that's a really good question. Well, this is like, it's not, um, I mean, Jean Grey and like getting into Phoenix territory, that's like, yeah. Talk about a, 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 a character oh and redemption. Yes. That's, uh, that's a big one. That'd that's be a big one. Yeah. That, 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 oh, I could definitely hear you, yeah. Jean. Love ah, that. That's very, thank you. I'll take that compliment. So, any recent upcoming projects? What are you working yeah. on? Yeah. Um, the podcast keeps yeah. you busy, I'm oh, sure. Oh, the podcast definitely is so excited about uh, doing season three. Um, I'm on a show right now. I do a lot of on camera work. So, I'm on a show right now called Platonic with Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne. Oh, fun. Um, it's a great show. I think it's on Apple. Oh, I know it's on Apple TV. I don't think you watch it anywhere else. <laughs> Um, and then uh, I'm doing a new series, but I don't know if I can talk about it. You know, it's one of those. Well, we can. Can we but find you on social media? To keep you can. Up with you can. I'm at G- uh, Matt Jana Varney. Sometimes a little bit, maybe on Twitter. Um, and I'm at the JV Club on Instagram. And yes, there are a few TikToks floating around of me, but I need to get better at being on it. <laughs> well, Janet, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Samurai I, Jill. Oh, Samurai Janet, I should say. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye, Sci-Fi Valley Con. The day's almost over. Get down here and meet Janet. This has been amazing.